Hi guys, Create557 Diana here with my first craft room tour. These are my pocket doors that I keep closed when I'm not in my room. And let's just take a peek inside. The room measures eight by 10. The ceilings are nine feet tall. It's not a humongous room, but it's perfect for me. I'll do a panning of the room and excuse me and then I'll give you guys a closer look okay I am now inside of the room like I said it's a small room it's not huge there's my computer and these are the doors let me just close it so you can see So now I'm in the room with the doors closed. That right there is a, it's like a poster, but it's chalkboard. You can write on it with chalk. And then when you're done, you can just hide it in the wall. And that's my living room out there. Okay, so let me start here. There go my cords. And over here are all my clay things. All these boxes contain laces and trims. The bottom one is all beige and white. The other one has pink, blue, grays. And then up there I have a bunch of appliques. That's the um, <clears throat> candle stand that I altered. Over here on this big chest-like box, I have um, quilling equipment. And then on top I have like office supplies. And then I have an Expedit down here, and I have some of my milk glass inside. You know, little, I just display little things, but I try to also use it um, like this box here. This square is all adhesives and glues. And over here is um, magazines, that is inspirational magazines and some books. A box over there with some cutouts. Um, in this box over here, I have some supplies, and these are ribbons. This is an old, old camera that I used to use. Back there, I have a bunch of the uh, glass. Um, oh, what, what are they? Let me show you, because I can't remember these here. I can't believe I can't remember that. And then some embellishments, and all these have uh, supplies, painting, my cuddle bug, my cuddle bug is down there, my sewing machine. And then this one has all, a lot of painting supplies. That one has um, sprays. This one has sewing, things for sewing. This one has, I think, spellbinder, um, card making and some dies, cutting dies. And these two are just like for just um um I put stuff away in there just different things these I did a video on I stuck them in there there goes my favorite quote to the world you may be one person but to one person you may be the world there are some binoculars for my bird watching I did a video on that I keep a bunch of ribbons in this here pocketbook I don't use my pocketbooks a lot, so I bring them out, you know, use them that way. Over here is all beads, jewelry making supplies, some wallpaper, already textured and everything. Ribbons that I've used and now they're kind of short. And over here, I have my beautiful tag from Roxy Car 11 and this beautiful altar bag from her as well. I have Jennings 644, her butterfly, and she gave me a nice, nice bag of uh, doodads. I have these matchboxes that are so cool. Look at that. And look at this one. So cool. I love them. These little things I'm looking to alter. Another milk glass, a giant pitcher with lace, doily. Over here, these are projects that are in progress. All, all in this thing right here, I have um, washi tapes, 
back here I have nail polish and I have um, eyeshadows that I use for this dressing paper um, Baker's twine on, in here those are cigar boxes back there with a lot of things for quilting more projects all my napkins that I love dearly. I have to alter this shoe box, but I love napkins. Love, love, love them. These three beautiful flowers were made by um, Fiona. Her YouTube channel is Jennings644. Go check her out. She's amazing. These are my vintage bags. That one is for a wigs. That one is a hat box. And that one, I... I put my punches in and I got that one really cheap as shoe dazzle. These two are uh, Coke bottles from the Coke factory in Atlanta, Georgia. And that I got really cheap. There were two for like, whoa, less than $5. And that is what I used to make this. Okay. And over here on my expedite, you'll also see my grandchildren, all five of them. Okay, I'm not sure their mommies want them in, so I'm not going to zoom in. Um, this is a shoe rack. I got this idea years ago from a lady on YouTube. You go to Walmart and you find this shoe rack and you can hang all of your embellishments on it instead of getting the, um, the really, really expensive one. I love it. I think it's wonderful. It's perfect for me. Then I have this plastic cart with th uh, three, three deep drawers and then one small one. And in this small one, this is the one I use the most. What I use it, what I get out of this the most is this little book, my little black book that I keep everybody's address and, and stores addresses and stuff like that. These two boxes I got this past Christmas. So I have flowers, stencils, things like that in there. Also down here, I have, oh God, a whole bunch of things. Just things for cameras. More thread and, I mean, just stuff, okay? Tools, things like that. These boxes, Cricut and Cuddlebug, images, labels. More things, this bottle that I'm altering, I'm not done yet. Up there, I have more bottles back there. This basket that I just throw boxes in and things. My daughter, Carla, uh, altered that for me. And that's a sewing box. In here, I keep papers, um, cutouts, and um, templates. Things like that. More papers. These are two of my paper cutters. I have one other one. My glue gun and glue sticks, stamps, inks, and stamps and inks. Back there I have some milk glass plates that I haven't put up. Some stamps, more paper. Okay, and then down here, these three flowers were gifted to me on a rack uh, by Maggie White. Maggie, look at your flowers. And then over here I have paints. I use this little thing here that I got at the Christmas tree shop. Let me see if you can see it. Can't. Oh, no. I just went to Michael's, guys. Need I say more? In here, you open it up, and I have a lot of my brushes in here. Um, this is a the top of a pan. I hot glued it to that, put a little trim on it, and throw stuff on it. Over there I have gesso, modeling paste, mod podge, etc. My hot glue gun, YBs. And then, if you come over here, I have my hat with all my flowers, lots of ribbons, glitter glue, markers, my little caddy here. Okay, and that picture there was made by my granddaughter, Zoe. who She's 12 now, but at the time she was 4 or 5. This one was made by Ava, who is 6 right now, but she made it when she was 4 or 5. 
and more milk glass. I'll be doing a video on that. That's why I'm just going quickly. I have here this beautiful altered cork from my good friend Roxy Car 11 and this gorgeous card from Maggie White. That beautiful flower arrangement is from a very good friend of mine, Terry, her daughter, Sweet 15, her quinceañera. That right there, that D, letter D, is my very first altered project. As you can see, it has a spoon, and it's, um, it's not an altered project. It's my very first mixed media project. And on my all of my mixed media has a spoon on it. That's my signature. That's the one thing I put on every single one of them. And little my little grandson Johnny, he made that. Excuse me, there goes my cricket and my tapes. I don't have too many. I have like nine. And that flower pot I use as um my little trash bin, my little odd light. And here's, there are some flowers there that I like to look at. My computer that I love because I just tap it. I don't even have to use the keyboard. Sometimes I use it out of habit. And from here, I look at the television right there. So I don't need to have a television in my craft room. And that, my good friends, is my craft room. Let me see if I can get down here. Down here, I have... A basket of stamps um, some stamps there albums and more stamps and behind those stamps is a white milk glass bowl um, of um, ATC things and this right here is the this is just a little case of buttons all buttons different colors Okay, and down here, you'll see I have some happy mail that I received. I've done videos on those. Over here is more painting supplies. Okay. Oh, guys, I forgot to show you my beautiful, beautiful lace book that Maggie White made me. Look at, look at how gorgeous. Maggie, everybody that sees this book falls in love with it. It's so, so beautiful. Okay. I like this for now. They go my girlfriends. This is the big bag that I use to store all of the trims that I use for my little ballet, <clears throat> my ballerina fairies. These right here, this one is for my granddaughter Ava. I'll be seeing her in a few days. Jeez, I'm so sorry, guys. This, my lighting is awful. Here you go. Isn't she so cute? But she's missing her feet. I have to do them in a little while. All right. So, oh, well, that's for the milk glass video. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep wanting to go into my milk glass, but okay. Um, over here, I have a lot of doilies and fabrics, and this is for my uh, fabric books that I'm planning to do. Okay. Here's my uh, collection of Downton Abbey. Um, I keep all my medals in that bag. And I'm moving back out of my room. And guys, that is the end of my tour. If there's something that you would like me to go into more detail with, just uh, give me a, send me a comment and I will be more than happy to do that. Answer any questions you may have. Um, like I said, the room is 8 by 10 by 8 by 10. And the front floor to ceiling, 9 feet. And I have these nice pocket doors that if, I'm, if I have a project and I can't clean up right away, I can just close them and no one can see in. Thank you guys. Take care. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Bye.